my fourth um, in my class. And then I remember I was pumped. I was like, oh my gosh, I can do this. And then I was like, I'm doing, um, I did a show that November. So did a show in April, didn't did a show in November, won the show. And I was like, man, I can do this. This is fun. And, you know, and, and I think I could push through. And then um, the next year did junior nationals. And I remember at the time, the coach I had was like, I don't know if this is a really a good idea. He's like, maybe you should wait. And I was like, no, I'm doing it. Like literally just was like, I'm doing the show. And um, I got first call outs. And so I had only did two shows. And then that third show went to nationals. I got first call outs. And then after that, that's when I took the like five years off. Cause I was like, man, this was a lot. This was a lot. This was hard. And, but I just remember being pumped and confident. And I tell a lot of, um, cause now I have a, a number of friends who've ended up getting into bodybuilding, which is super exciting and watching people push themselves, you know, past their comfort zone. But I remember telling them that um, competing really forces you to truly um, believe in yourself and be confident in your own uh, appearance and how you feel about how you look, because lots of people are going to have lots of comments. It could be even your friends, family, people that don't even know you. Right. Like, it's funny, like people have lots of comments about like I always joke because I say if I was overweight, nobody would care. And it was interesting when I first started competing and, you know, just getting really disciplined. Some people were like, wow, you're like you always had a really nice shape. Now you're like getting really like muscular. And um, and so that's why I, I say that the first time competing, I was super proud of myself and my confidence level, you know, internally probably went to a different level because you truly have to be comfortable in your own skin and believe in what you're doing because it's truly you against you. Yeah, it's a tough sport because, you know, people got to understand that it's a lot of time and work you put into it. I mean, I've talked to some ladies that sometimes the first times they were scared because you got to think about it. You're out, you're out on a stage in a, in a, in a posing suit, half naked. You're, <laughs> you're, you're tired. You're hungry. You're dehydrated. I mean, it's so much to this. And was figured the first division, I mean, the first division you started, or you were like some ladies when you started, started bikini or we, we, no, we, we, I always started in figure because I've always had a really small waist and I've always had a really good upper body. For me, with the challenge was just I had good legs, but it's just getting, um, you know, getting lean enough, right? So you can get the striations. It's funny you say people are nervous. I, I'm weird. I don't think like when it's show day, I, I, like I actually enjoy like the last few days right before the show. Cause you're getting carbs. Like to me, the work is done. Like I actually enjoy the day of the show. Like I probably like, um, when my sister and I were at nationals, I was like, we're probably annoying people. Cause we're like laughing and joking and just like sitting down, putting our feet up. But to me, the work is already done. So I always tell people like, go have fun. Like it, getting on stage at this point, maybe I feel this way because, you know, I speak in front of a lot of people on a regular basis. I cheered. I'm not really scared to get in front of people, but I just always feel like, you know, have fun at that point. You There's nothing more you can do, quite frankly. Like, you've already done the work. So I'm like, at this point, it's like, I'm going out here. I'm going to turn up. I'm going to have fun. I've already done the work. And so I don't think I'm ever, um, like, scared or anything. I just think I'm just, like, ready to go at that point because I've already done all the work. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of work to put in this. Um, at the time, who's you working with? Who's your uh, who's your coach and your trainer? Who you working with right now? So Dave Hintz. So he's Tamika and I uh, and my coach. So um, he's been our coach. Um, I literally I worked with him for years, but like I said, I took years off. So uh, I always joke. I'm like, Dave, I had you on retainer because like there were years I just didn't even compete. But uh, I think he's a great coach. I think he really cares about the health of his. Um, athletes and it's been a joy working with him and then having my sister obviously work with him as well that's pretty good you know we have the same coach y'all like, uh, we have here from this is from my man war 2000 he says this says shannon uh what is is shannon's current favorite ib pro figure athlete so like i say who you're a fan of in the sport like you know in your division and other divisions yeah so i would say candace uh was really my favorite at the beginning you know obviously she's taking some time off she's um had a baby well now i think it just had her second baby um i wouldn't know them um so well her what's her married name now i gotta think about what is candace's married because she's married now but she was I, I would say she was my first favorite 
And then let me look because I don't want to. I don't want to get somebody's name wrong because I know she got married. <laughs> so Carter is her married name. So Candace Carter. So I mean, she's been in the top three, um, four figure for years. Like, and and all I think probably she was my first favorite because people were coming there like you have a small waist like her and. Um, but I, I love her. I follow her and have for years. And then um, I would say Sid is, but I, I think Sid is, I mean, clearly we all know Sid, but I think she's my favorite, not only because, you know, obviously she's number one in the world, but um, her personality, I think, um, you know, she's very humble. And I think that like, she knows she's great, but the way she carries herself uh, I really love because I think that, you know, having humility is so important and um, bringing people with you. So I would say Sid is my favorite, but I think for multiple reasons, um, I just, I like her character um, and then her build too. So she is, you know, she, I actually quoted her in one of my posts when I got my pro card because my frame is smaller, actually. Like my coach was telling me, he's like, you have a smaller frame because I'm now in like bulking season. And he's like, we got to put a little bit more muscle on you, but um, you know, I like her frame because I have a, a, a similar frame, um, but I need to get some more muscle. But I love that because she said it's not always about size. It also is about the symmetry and how you look. So for me, that was like really good to hear because I'm like, I'm not the biggest, but I have really good symmetry. Yeah, because you look at the vision now. Yes, Sid, as you know, people say Sidney Gillen. And then there's that's Jessica Reyes Padilla. There's Laura Montez, uh, Cherish Richardson. There's Nicole Zenobia Graham. I mean, like I said, I've been following figure a little bit because mostly my content is mostly country a little more on women's bodybuilding and big physique. But I've been, I've done, I just did an interview with a you know a lady who does figure. Your sister also a couple others. You know, I try to span my content. And if you look at the divisions now, they have kind of changed over the years. Because I remember when it first started out, it was a little bit more like kind of like bikini girls were just. I think if you know like this, figure was like the third division in women's bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't that many. It was women's bodybuilding and fitness, 